Don't have sex, guys. The moment you have sex, you lose most of your gamer ability. So just don't do it. It's not worth it. So apparently I'm the uh, best gamer in this cool now. <laughs> <laughs> not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> His name is racist. Nick, oh my god. <laughs> Nick word. <laughs> What's up, my Nick word? What's up, Nick word? <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you know Nick word's favorite rap artist? Oh, what? Future. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm fucking, I'm fucking leaving, dude. I'll speak. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Let me see. Thank you. Pretend you're on a phone call, but use your dog's favorite words. Hi, yes, I'm trying to reach grandma. No, not that grandma, the other grandma. Oh, okay, hi grandma, how are you? Yeah, I just wanted to call and confirm that you're putting together that package of treats. Okay, awesome. Now, do we need to go for a walk to get those? Oh, we should go on a car ride. Now, are you at home? You're not at home. Okay, so we don't need to go to your home at all. Awesome. Um, will there also be sticks in that packages? And how about chicken? Okay, thank you so much for doing that, Grandma. Um, will Artemis or Judy or Mac be there? Great, that's fantastic. Um, do we need to meet you outside? Upstairs or downstairs? Okay, great, thanks, Grandma. If I caught you playing with yourself, would you stop or carry on? <laughs> Imagine. All right, love. You can literally walk in the room when I'm having a shit and I won't care. But for some reason, I feel like that's too personal. <laughs> this word you've chosen for practical help. Aid. What about it? Oh, I just like how it follows the same pattern if you put a different letter in front of it. Oh, thank you. For example, there's L, laid, the past tense of lay. Adding an R, you get raid, the name for a surprise attack. And adding an S, you get said. What? Said. S-A-I-D is said. Yes. The past tense of say. Said. But lay, laid, pay, paid, say. I said what I said. What first tattoo would you get? I want to get a rainbow llama. Like, would you get it like tram stamp right above your bum crack? Get when it. I'm hitting it from the back, I'm I just would... like, fuck, that's majestic. Because I'm going to be honest, you know what would be great? I've always thought this would be like a really good fucking thing for girls to do. What? Just get like a little crossword. Tramp stamp on the back because I don't want to be a dick, but like some guys will agree with this when you're hitting it from the back Sometimes it can get kind of boring. So you'd rather you'd rather do a fucking cross Even just like a like a puzzle on my ass. Like a like a brain teaser something to just like pass the time <laughs> Even like an optical illusion I could look at <laughs> you know a little swirl where I'm like woo I can get hypnotized by your ass. <laughs> I would never want you to get a crossword above your ass. Why, just in case one time you, you're like hitting it from behind and then it's already filled out? Boy! Oh, it's a girl! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs, does that thing have a limiter? Or a schnizel? Schnizel? Can you put her on the cut there so we can all have a little sound there? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Do, do, yeah. But do spiders have pussies? No. Yeah? Yeah, how do spiders have sex? How do spiders have sex?
<laughs> Both male and female reproductive organs are at the rear of the abdomen, but spiders don't mate by coupling these organs. Instead, the male deposits some. S hey, hey, in the back, wake up! <laughs> Huh? The male deposits oh. some sperm into the, a small web. Oh, what the fuck did I wake up to? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the spider nuts into a into a bag. He picks it up and he takes it to the woman and throws it right in her pussy. <laughs> like, a, like an ass. Oh, I, I, I got it. Charlie. 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 Oh no. Wasp bing. You know you picked love on that guy's love host. I know, I can't believe this. Uh, you know who's love host you didn't pick love on? <sighs> Jack, don't remind me, please. Pity. We don't want to talk about it. I woke up late the other day and made my coffee with Red Bull instead of water. I got halfway to work before I realized I forgot my car. Sick and fucking days of a bad Oink, oink. Mmm. Sweet. Oh. Pulling it off. Hey. Slash. Boom. Easily rather be with a man with an unwashed ass than a man who calls coffee a cup of joe. You have five new messages mm -hmm. from mom. Did you get the porridge cream? <laughs> Homo cream? Hemorrhoid cream? Don't laugh at me. Never mind, I hope you die. Like, I'll be walking along the sidewalk, right? Walking along, and people in front of me will walk by someone who's, who's sitting on the ground or leaning up against the wall who's like, hey, can I have some money? Hey, do you have some extra change? And then I'll walk by, and the person will be like, hey, God bless you, brother. <laughs> I always used to be confused, like, why, why don't they ask me? And then I realized they do not want my money because if I can't afford my rent, I will end up out there competing with them. <laughs> and guys, I think I would be a very good panhandler. I think I would do very well. And I feel this way uh, because on occasion, without me even asking, strangers just hand me money in public situations. <laughs> and my friends always be like, why, why did that person just give, just go with it, all right? It's free money. <laughs> I was at a mall once and this elderly Asian lady came over and handed me $20, just 20, and all like her grandchildren were like, what? And I was like, sorry kids, it's amputee perks, what can I say? <laughs> Three years ago, I was at an airport in the Middle East, and someone came up to me and handed me currency, foreign currency. I don't even know what country this money was from, but I was just like, oh, but I had someone with me. I was like, oh, this makes sense. I just took the money and kept walking. The person I was with was like, what's going on here? Are you some kind of international spy? Does that have something to do with Ukraine? You see, I feel like you should be more, so I was like, no, this happens, it's fine. Uh, you know, people just give me money. It makes sense. But yeah, that's why I think that I would do uh, a, a very well as a panler. So I, I rent this theater, right? Like I produce this show myself. And uh, as you can perhaps surmise by uh, the situation in the room right now, like I lose money producing this show. <laughs> But no, I, and, and it's fine, like I don't do it to make money, I do it because I think it's super fun uh, and so I'm very happy to lose money. I just think it's really interesting to consider that if I, uh, like I would probably make significantly more money sitting outside on the sidewalk <laughs> looking sad, asking people for handouts uh, than I do standing in here looking happy asking people to come to my stand-up comedy show. <laughs>
Oh my god, that's Katie. She went to my primary school. This is my heart. Hi, Katie. Uh, it's Jay. Do you remember me? We went to the same. Oi, tall boy. Don't talk to my girl. Tall boy. Did you just call me a Loompa Loompa? What? I just leave it, Kala. No, no, I don't like the way this giraffe is looking down at me. I am not insecure about my height. Right. And I definitely don't go to the gym 11 days a week to make up for it. 11 days a week. It's fine, Callum. No, no, I've had that up to here. <laughs> Only up to there. You what? I will fuck. Oh, what? Are you going to hump my leg? Are you f Well, it was nice to see you, Katie. Just um, take the tea towel off your head because it looks a bit shit. Open tape behind Walgreens. My number one favorite thing to do. I go hard in the motherfucking paint. Don't it! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Say the word, Rizzy. Finish okay, my no. sentence. God, no. My Come on. No N word for you. Come on, I've been hey. good. I've been such a good boy <laughs> this year. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is Grizzy to say the N word. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> Eggs and toast. I'm sure. scared of ghosts. You do the most. And motherfucker just goes, Phil, I've I've given Tubble that skateboard. Do you want to know why, Phil? I was like, why? It's like, Phil, I owe Tubble 1,000 pounds. And I'm hoping that this skateboard clears our debt. I'm like, it absolutely won't in your schools. Watch this. Tubbo, are we good? Are we are we are we are we even? And then Tubbo just looks at them with his skateboard like super happy. He's like, yeah, I mean, me you still owe me that money. <laughs> This is a difficult one because there isn't actually a law against under glow body lighting itself, but it doesn't make it actually legal. So if your lights dazzle or you know that you look like a UFO going on the road or something like that, then there will be you will get pulled for that because that's your dazzling other drivers for that. But if it's subtle under glow like it used to be in the nineties, uh, then it should be fine. Actually, seen at Junction Fourteen Meet the other night, there's a good few cars there with under glow lighting on them at night time parked up. It looks savage. Especially if the ground is damp underneath. You shouldn't really have too much of an issue under glow lighting once it's done properly. Once you get a proper fitting kit and it's done right, as long as it's not some like LEDs off a roof or something or other, do it right, invest a bit of time in the kit and the effort in putting it on in the first place. I'm sure the lights are good and everything's done and wired properly. Then you shouldn't really have a problem because then you can dim them anyway. You know, you can turn them up when you're parked and turn them down when you're dimmed. So yeah, it'll work out okay for you. But no, we don't actually have a law against it, but sometimes it's frowned on because it's too bright. Someone's just written chads. I think it says chaos. No, it's C H A. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I've got some work to do. Hold on. There we go. That's way better. Chads. Oh, lads, wake up. Oh, Connor, get your hands off me balls. What are you talking about? It's just me and you in the room. Then who's touching my balls? <laughs> oh, finally, I found you. I woke up to it. Who the fuck is this? Get him out of the room, he was touching me the whole night! Go on, go hang around the play schools. Oh, what the fuck? Clive, don't even fucking lie, you were touching him back. One more word, we're going outside. You think that was bad, Clive? I woke up in a fucking desert with a camel pissing all over me. We're in Kazakhstan. What the fuck are we doing in New Zealand? We were drinking a Moiga last night in Ireland. What the fuck are we doing in Germany? At least we're in Europe like we're not miles away. We're in Kazakhstan! Connor! Now, Clive, I can feel three testes. He's staring at me. Hey, McNasty. Ryan. Does Ryan, does he drink? Yeah, he does a lot. Maybe I should, like, convince him that we had gay sex or something one night. <laughs> <laughs> and just Please be like, you kept that. talking about this girlfriend that was a teacher, but you were fucking me like a man. <laughs> he really, really, really likes drinking, like, craft beer. Do you know, like, a bar name that he goes to or where he would have went or something? Probably shenanigans. Shenanigans, okay. So you're gonna call his friend and pretend that y'all got drunk and hooked up one night. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell him sex. that I, I got an STD and then he needs to go get checked out. Oh, this is epic. <laughs>
<laughs> I have been on a phone call like this before. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Carry on. He said I was close to getting the police involved. What? I told you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what did you mention Chinese Monday? That's stalker central right there. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know, I, I see that you uh, you eat Chinese food every Monday. <laughs> 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 Hi, this is your man. Yeah, uh, I was calling to give you some bad news, actually. I know we haven't spoken in a while, but, you know, I actually had to go to the doctor the other day, and I just figured I'd call you and tell you before anything bad happens, so. Protect the bomb. How have you been, Ryan? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure who this is. May I ask who this is? Oh, this is Dave. You don't remember? We, uh, I thought you might have had my number saved, but we, uh, <clears throat> we had met at Shenanigans, uh, you know, a few months back. You don't remember? <laughs> you don't remember meeting at Shenanigans like a few months ago? I was kind of worried you wouldn't remember, which is why, I'd, you know, I figured I'd call you. No, I have no idea. Well, I haven't been to that place in like well over a year. Are you sure it was a few months ago? Well, yeah, it could have been a year ago. I mean, you know, time's getting away from me in the quarantine and all, but, uh, <laughs> you were, you were talking about, like, you were, uh, dating this teacher at the time or something, but I just want to let you know that, you know, that night after shenanigans when you were drinking all your craft beer stuff or whatever and we hooked up, you know, I went to the doctor and I actually tested positive for an STD, so. <laughs> Okay, who the fuck is this? <laughs> this is Dave. We met at Shenanigans Bar. Yeah, I don't. I didn't understand. I mean, you you kept talking about this girl you were dating was a teacher or something, but you were fucking me like a man, and you know. I just want. I just wanted to let you know that uh, you should probably go to the doctor and get checked because it. I can't hear it anymore.